This is an update to the Leica MPi, a Leica M2 with a digital sensor based on a Raspberry Pi Zero. If you've seen the first video, you may notice some of the external updates, but the most exciting upgrade is this new sensor. This is the Arducam L site. It's currently the largest sensor you can readily buy for the Raspberry Pi, compared to the official high quality camera module, which had a crop factor of five and a half times. The sensors is 3.7. So the 12 millimeter goes from being a telephoto 65 millimeter to a very normal 44 millimeter. On the original, I also had to remove the IR filter as it would get caught on the cloth shutter, which made it infrared and monochrome only in natural lights. On the sensor, I had to remove a lens assembly, but can take color photos in daylight. The sensor even captures its own edges, which look like film sprockets and is a neat aesthetic. Another update is the internal battery. So whereas the original module was thinner, it didn't have an internal battery and had to be plugged into a USB battery pack at all times that I would tape to the bottom of the camera. So I've added the Pi Sugar, which is an internal battery pack that mounts right onto the Pi Zero. I get about three hours on a charge and I just keep a USB charger to the USB-C port on the Pi Sugar on hand as a backup. And the last main update is support for a flash. So this is the Flash Q20, very popular, um, very convenient, wireless. So it's triggered by just shorting the pins. So you can take the trans transmitter and short it on anything to trigger the flash. Now, because of the delay between when the mechanical shutter button is pressed and when the Pi begins the exposure, if the flash were synced to the mechanical shutter, it would have fired by the time the Pi begins the exposure. So the flash has to be synced to the electronic shutter. Now, just like how the shutter button acts as an input to the Pi to begin the exposure, one of the Pi's pins can be an output to trigger the flash. So I'm using a transistor that's an electrically controlled switch. When we output voltage from the Pi to its base pin, it closes the flash circuit to trigger the flash. So notice when I press the shutter button, there's a small delay when the trigger starts firing. I still need some tuning because the shutter lag is variable. So I set the shutter speed to one over two, which I have set to up on the D-pad and have the flash fire repeatedly, hoping that one of them gets in the picture. It sometimes misfires, but when it works, I really like the results. And that's it for the technical updates. I'm also finally releasing the instructions through a repository, so anyone can use the hardware and software to adapt the system to their camera. The main modification would be redesigning the back plate that mounts the module to the camera for whatever back or camera you'd like to adapt this for. And on a more personal update, I recently moved to New York. I bring this camera with me everywhere. And I really appreciate the enthusiasm and interest from other photographers and technologists that I've met. But I also actually use this as my main camera. So I have several digital cameras. Uh, I was using this Fuji XF10 that's super beat up and held together with hot glue and rubber bands. But I use this camera for what it was made to do, and that is to make photos. So to that end, I've created enough work for Zine that I'm crowdfunding through Kickstarter. I don't post many of my photos online anymore, so I'm really excited to share some work that I'm very proud of and something real and physical. The campaign's open until mid-January 2025 for at least some time in February. Details for the campaign and the write-up of the technical updates and the instructions will be in the video description. So thank you for watching. Thank you to everyone who's interested in the project. I hope some of y'all will continue supporting the work and I hope everyone has a good holiday season.